about three, two, one, now. So you'll see I am in a split screen and on the left side I have Atlas or Blue and on the right side I have Peabody and I'm able to just switch between the two but I can only control one at a time. This is just sort of the tutorial level. Okay. So the main uh, movement in this game, as opposed to Portal 1, is bunny hopping. So you will see me kind of hop and strafe left and right a bunch. That makes me go pretty fast. Not as fast as in Portal 1, but still. And that also enables me to jump a lot of gaps that you're not supposed to jump. And solo co-op is really interesting opposed to co-op because you have to optimize when you control which robot and that's really fun. Surprisingly, the solo co-op one is only like 10 minutes longer than the normal co-op one. can get the cube into the button immediately with the throw I tried there, and that is really hard. Ah, I messed up that jump. So we just kind of ignore the puzzles and just jump every gap. Okay, what I did there was uh, at some places in the game, both players just do a taunt that is really long and you can't move doing it. So if I taunt right before, like uh, there's an air taunt, so if you jump and press taunt in the air, you just do a little backflip or something and it's really short. And if I do that while I'm supposed to do the other taunt, it just skips the original one. Okay, so this is the lobby, you'll see this a bunch. From here you access all the levels. So this is just all about getting both players into the elevators here as fast as possible. Now these game, this game also has elevators, but they're not as long as in Portal 1. So we don't have as much waiting. Yeah, I really like the movement in this game because it's just really smooth. Yeah, okay. There's a thing you probably didn't spot it, but if you go too fast in this game, there's something called air drag, which uh, basically disables your control in the air. So you just keep going into one, one direction when you're going too fast. And that's a really obnoxious thing when you're trying to uh, bunny hop around corners. Yeah, can I press that button? There we go. Blue or orange? Definitely blue. Orange is bad. Yeah, blue is the one who appears to be doing all of the work. Definitely go with orange. 
There's actually like two or three chambers where I will not use Peabody at all. He's just kind of chilling there. Plus, uh, when I do normal co-op, I always play Atlas, so I'm used to him. Sadly, there's there are some tricks that I am not able to do in solo co-op because they are latency based. Some portal is off here. Which one is it? Oh, it's laser. There we go. Oh, I touched the cube. Get in there. Thanks. I also like to call this category No Friends Co-op because it's essentially pretty similar to Co-op in terms of strats with just minor differences. Yeah, Atlas is pretty cool. He's the f oh, I forgot something here. You can skip this taunt, but it's pretty hard in solo Co-op. Sometimes I'll get confused as to which robot I'm controlling right now. So there's overall five courses in this run. And we're still in the first one, but it'll be done soon. So this one is really interesting, there's a lot of puzzles going on in this chamber. But you can just jump this gap. So if we don't fail that, let's do that. Okay, this is actually one of the harder hops in this game. There we go. That's how it's supposed to look. And then we can just pull the orange over. There's a platform down here that you can just stand on for a while before the goo kills you. So that's pretty convenient. These first chambers are still really easy. It's really fun later when timing comes into play. So this is one of the chambers where I won't use Peabody at all. Ah, I fell down. That's fine. So there are these levers that you're supposed to hit with both people at the same time. But you can actually just hit them with one and it's pretty easy most of the time. So Peabody, let's kill Peabody actually. I hate Peabody. Also here you see the magnificent level design by Valve. They just kind of cut this railing off here. It looks pretty good. It might be too dark for you to see but... Okay, so that was the first course. One out of five. to them in order. Mm. 
And what's really frustrating is before each course, I need to like set the chamber that I want to enter to the first one. And sometimes I forget that. So here a trick comes into play in just a second, called reportaling, which which results from Valve trying to fix a trick from Portal 1. Basically if you replace a portal while you're like right in a portal, the game just sort of pushes you out. If you use that wisely it can give you some extra velocity. Basically this. I have time here. There's just dialogue play. Oh, that literally has never happened before. Didn't get enough velocity there. There we go, that worked. Also sometimes at the end of chambers you'll see me switch robots a little bit, in, like in the elevator. And that's because of a really obnoxious bug, I guess, in solo co-op. Which is, if you hold a key, like it, for example if you hold forwards while switching robots, and then switch back to the original robot, uh, to the first one, uh, that key will be held until you press it again. And that can sometimes really screw you over. Like when you're standing on a small platform and the game just kind of walks forward without you doing anything. Here's a little death warp, which also results in shorter dialogue. That was pretty smooth there. Twitter. Forgot to turn those notifications off. Uh, get in there. One thing about this run, solo co-op, that I don't like compared to co-op is that if somebody, f uh, if something fails, you cannot blame it on your partner. Because <laughs> here you actually do everything. sometimes happens, I don't know why. This is intended. Some, wh what's going on? Why does the game not put me up there? There we go. Sometimes the game works weird. Let me just skip some more stuff. Yeah, uh, this way. Yeah, sometimes I lose orientation when switching robots, because I forgot where I placed the other one. Yeah, I'm up there. 
So time to skip another taunt here. Yeah, let me in there. Yeah, you can sometimes get stuck on these elevators. They're pretty obnoxious. So I need to shoot yellow. Where is it? Can I get that there? Yeah. For some reason, you can just shoot a portal up there on the grid. Not quite sure why. And here comes something into play, which is really interesting. Normally, if you run through a fizzle like this with a cube, it gets destroyed. But if you just kind of crouch and hold the cube below you, it doesn't get destroyed for some reason. So this way, we can just. I skip this puzzle where you would normally need to acquire a cube, but we just ward in the one from the previous chamber. Oh, I forgot something I've prepared. This cool chat message. I just use it whenever I don't have stuff to do. Also, for some reason, if you look at the left side here, the developers put a, in, an invisible button right up there. That was bad. <laughs> and that just opens the door for a short time. Unfortunately, the time is so short that it's really hard to uh, get through with both robots in solo co-op. So that's why the door squished me there. There we go. Golden capper check, yeah. Make sure to check those golden cappers, buddies. Sometimes I forget which chamber is coming up. Okay, so here can just kind of grab a cube through this tube. Because why not? Yeah. And this is another chamber where we just kind of do everything with one robot. You're supposed to bring the other one in here, but these levers are just doable by one. To the fan. Because who needs Peabody anyway? Uh, which course is it? Three, yes. Yeah. Into course 3, every course has kind of a theme to it, and this one has hard light bridges, which can be quite fun. But sadly, they're a little narrow, so it's kind of hard to hop on them sometimes. Did I, why did I shoot that there? And just kind of jump gaps as usual. Just 
press that button in here. to spam those cappers guys I almost fell down there. Which would have been quite unfortunate. Yeah, guys. You're doing pretty good. Spam all those cappers. Especially the golden cappers. by shooting it at an angle Boom. and luckily it puts us right to the exit guys calm down with the emotes all I want is Kappa but instead of Kappa you could also get in 12 more dollars for core 6, so I can do 15 more minutes of this. And maybe I'll get friends, who knows. Anything can happen in SRX. Uh, this is bad placement, that's better. Kappa's up. Get him up, boy. Also, this is the only sort of out of bounds in the run. And that was it. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed it. Eh, okay, that was close. Get up there. shot here yeah valve really did a bad job designing some of these puzzles but lucky for us we can just go faster I understand that would be like asking me not to test still that would have been exciting those cappers in. Okay, these chambers are pretty bad because they involve turrets and they can kill you lots of times. And they're especially bad in solo co-op. 
Because if you just leave one robot standing in front of a bunch of turrets, he's pretty much dead. So I gotta be extra careful on these ones. Just hide here for a second. There we go. Don't get shot, okay. We didn't die, yay. Yeah. Doesn't, really, doesn't really matter how fast we go here. As long as we don't die, it's fine. <laughs> but we have one more coming up with turrets. Yay. My favorites. again. Just the usual portal stuff. Uh, I might die here. Oh, they boosted me. That's cool. They just shot me in the back. And yeah, normally in this chamber you'd get rid of these turrets. But we want to go fast. Finally, we come to the next chamber where we don't need Peabody. So Peabody will just kind of chill there for this whole map. We'll just take this over the Fizzler, if we can do it. There we go. Now this is pretty interesting, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna create a bridge right in the center of a ball, and that's just gonna kind of stop the ball in midair, because the game doesn't quite know what to do. If I can time it right, there we go. Once again, doing these levers alone. Now this is a really giant gap to jump, but we got it. And now it's dialogue so we can just kind of do some fancy stuff. Maybe move Peabody one feet, okay. One feet, one foot. So that was course three out of five. Now we go into one of the most interesting courses. Course four, also known as excursion funnels. Because these things are hella broken. So this is a glitch that is that completely breaks the game, and it was actually found in 2007 on wait not 2007 2010 I think yeah on the release day of this game like the very first day it came out. So what you can do is if I can shoot this correctly, this funnel lets you just like fly in it, and you can preserve that and kind of just fly around the map. Ich komm dann.
I'm getting under time pressure here. Sadly, flying is not useful in all of these chambers, so some won't look as cool. Kappa's out. Luckily this surface back there is big enough so that two portals fit on it. Finally, more flying. I'm sorry, I missed the beginning of that test. I was just talking with the reassembly machine, and I will become included. Off we go. So in this chamber we don't even need to shoot portals because the funnel is already conveniently placed. Oh, I messed that up. Let's just try that again. Okay, I'm going a little bit too fast here. What you basically need to do to fly is just land against the wall, be completely still and then crouch. And that just lets you fly out. And I'm not waiting long enough. There we go. Favorite, favorite here. Yeah. And more flying. Yeah. 
Get on there. Uh, here I am. Oops. No, don't get stuck. Ooh, that was close. Get in there? Okay. I think we're actually done with all the flying for this one. Yeah. So I can trust you one hundred percent. This is the last test for the standard course. It's just something I picked up for you. Let's try a little oh. I first tried that pixel shot, that's cool. Oh, damn. What, what did I do? That's bad. Uh, let's just go like this, yeah. I kind of messed up my portals there. Which, two minutes no. Oh dude, the fat man. All the people from the portal community coming in here. Uh, oh yeah. Just had to think what chamber this is. Just doing some more jumping. I'll just let Peabody drive off into the distance. Yeah, get that disc in. Actually, let's kill Peabody, can we? Yeah, we can. Bye, Peabody. Atlas gets to live. Atlas is cool. And that was course four. Switch robots just in time there. This final course is training to reach the human vault. So this actually has a purpose. Those other courses were fun, but let's be honest. I need human test subjects for it to be signed. Oh, this way. So visually this course looks quite different, but it's pretty similar to all the others. Except for when you spawn in the map, on all the other courses, like the puzzle is to your left, but in this one you actually have to turn to the right. Yeah. Just shoot a ball through the floor there, because why not? And just That's jump more gaps. To start 
Preparing for human testing again, I checked an old suggestion box. The number one request. Also, you can position yourself in these elevators so that you don't fall down. And so many elevators. The floor just opens, it's supposed to fall. This is pretty funny. We just. If we can get it, we fall down and shoot a portal into the next room. This jump is kind of hard, sadly. Should we just jump off of the bridge while we are falling down? Tricky jump is coming up. Yeah, as I said, <laughs> tricky jump. If you can't complete this course, those humans will die. Do you want that in your memory banks? There we go. Sadly, we have to do that twice. I'm really messing this up. Try again. There we go. Thanks, phone. In case you heard that. I think there's only like five chambers remaining, or four. Don't know exactly. Yeah. Uh, no, that's bad timing. I need to press the button and shortly after run there. Yeah. Okay. Maybe we just place a portal in the previous room. And that allows us to grab the cube in the next chamber, which completely skips the puzzle, which is really annoying. It's been like three years since I've done this puzzle. It's like a lot of timing with these crushers and I don't know if it's actually possible in solo co-op. It might not be. I guess I'll just do it like this. Wait, what am I doing? This is the long way. There we go. Yeah, getting confused. I haven't done this in a while. Sometimes that one toad can survive. 
It's quite annoying. Now it's only two chambers left. Question is, do I go for blueless? I think I will. Blueless is a really hard trick at the very end of the run. It's literally the last thing you do. But I guess I will go for it, because it looks really cool. Yeah. Also, this here introduces a glitch called Propulsion Gel Crouch Boost Glitch. Ah, crouch, crouch Boost Glitch. Which is, when you walk on the red gel, it increases your speed. But it actually doesn't increase your speed based on the distance you walked on it, but on the, dis uh, on the time you've been on it. So if you crouch, you will actually gain speed a lot faster in terms of the distance you need to cover. If that makes sense. <laughs> it's not used as much anyway in the run. Okay, and here we go. For the last map. Oh, Blue barely survived. He almost fell down there. Now here comes another precise shot. We just shoot into the next part of the chamber, which is back there. And I will get a checkpoint, which is not needed, but I'll do it for marathon safety. Uh, I might have messed this up quite badly. Yeah, I have. I switched up the robots. I should have gone with the others. Uh, how do I do this? I have an idea. Time to improvise. Okay, this should be good. Uh, or not. Can I get that shot, please? There we go. That's better. Now we just jump in here to get the checkpoint. And let's try blue this. And usually there's blue gel at the end here, but we don't need that. We can just run all the way to the end. Which is precise, uh, more precise than it looks. And I failed it there. But luckily we grabbed the checkpoint. So usually we would start from the beginning of this map. And now we can just retry this. This is not going according to plan. Time is coming up, up, by the way, after I get this. Hmm. There we go, that's better. And time is now. Probably there, announced that a little too late, but whatever. So that's pulled to solo co-op. If you ever want to do a fun co-op one, 